Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Mohammad Kubaib. In this video, we will discuss about the recently announced GA feature, which is RDP short path for Azure Virtual Desktop over public network. If you want to learn more about Azure, Citrix, or FS Logics technologies, you can check out my bestseller Udemy course, which is also available in Udemy for Business. So RDP short path, it is a feature of Azure Virtual Desktop that establish a direct UDP based transport between supported Windows remote desktop client and session host. It means it will create a direct connection between your session host and client instead of going via ID gateway. Normally when we use Azure Virtual Desktop, so by default it will use TCP based connectivity and it will go over the ID gateway which is also called as reverse connect. So reverse connect, why we are calling it as reverse connect because it will create an outbound connection from your session host to remote desktop gateway and then it will connect back to your client. When you compare UDP with the TCP, the UDP will provide better connection reliability and more consistent latency. So it will help you with the better user experience with the reduced latency or round trip. So whenever it is possible it is highly recommended to use rdp short path so that your user experience or latency or round trip will get reduced and users will have a better user experience rdp short path can be used in two ways one is managed network where direct connectivity is established between the client and the session host using private connection such as vpn or site to site vpn point to site vpn or express route so this is purely for the corporate network and where you have a direct connectivity between your office and the Azure. The second one is the public networks where the direct connectivity is established between the client and session host through a NAT gateway provided as part of Azure Virtual Desktop service when using a public connection. It means it is normally for the remote users who are sitting in the internet and accessing the Azure Virtual Desktop so that for them also you can enable UDP based RDP short path but this will be connected through something called NAT gateway or stun server which is provided by Microsoft. Let's see what are the firewall ports which we require to allow from your session host and the client network in order to establish RDP short path over public network. So from your session host which means from your Azure Virtual Desktop subnet you need to allow 1024 to 65535 UDP ports to the internet. So always make sure that you are going to allow a outbound connection from your VM to the internet. This might be a security challenge. So please check with your CISO etc. before you do this connectivity if you are allowing it inside the corporate network. And the second one is from your VM subnet to the Azure stun access server. So these are the servers which is used by Azure for the Microsoft Teams communication etc. which is typically called as stun access servers. So you need to allow port 3478 from your VM subnet to these public IP addresses. So in most of the corporate environment, this might have been already allowed because this is used for the Microsoft Teams as well. This is related to session host virtual network. When it comes to client network, if your client is sitting in the internet, then you no need to worry because everything by default allowed if it is over the internet. If the client is sitting inside the corporate network, then you need to allow these ports, which is the stun access server which is 3478 from your client to this public IP addresses which is already highlighted earlier and then from the client you need to allow the same 1024 to 65535 port range that is again UDP ports to the public IP address of your NAT gateway or Azure firewall. So these are the firewall ports required by RDP short path over public network. Let's see the architecture or communication flow with RDP short path for public network. Before jumping into RDP short path for public network architecture, let's try to understand by default Azure Virtual Desktop uses something called reverse connect. Let's try to understand what is reverse connect and how it is working and then we will head over to the RDP short path. So this is the architecture for Azure Virtual Desktop with the reverse connect. So with the reverse connect, which is a TCP based connections. So by default, when you launch any desktop or VDI through Azure Virtual Desktop, so from the client, the connection will go to the RD gateway. 
so then from the rd gateway the connection will go to the rd broker to get the required desktop details so those connection will go like this so once you identify the required session host so the session host will make a outbound connection to the rd gateway so this is purely a outbound connection from the session host to the rd gateway so once it established the outbound connection to the rd gateway using the existing connection from the client to rd gateway it will create a complete end to end connections so the entire communication which will flow over the rd gateway so this is how by default avd will work using something called reverse connect why because it is not making any inbound connection it is purely an outbound connection from the session host to remote gateway then using the established connection it will connect back to your client so this is the reason it is having the name called reverse connect so let's talk about rdp short path so this is the architecture for rdp short path for public network so when you enable rdp short path for public network by default the client will make a connection to the rd gateway in order to launch the vdi so once rd gateway receives the request the rd gateway will forward those request to the rd broker to check the available session host to make the connections so once the rd broker identifies what are the session host available to accept the incoming connections earlier it used to go like this to make the outbound connection back to the client now it will skip this path instead of going through rd gateway what it will do it will directly connect to the client using udp ports so this is this communication which is highlighted over here so now it is now we reduced one hope which is the communication going over the rd gateway so now it is directly going to the client and it is skipping one hope so which is ultimately reduces the latency or round trip and this is a purely a udp based connection so it is having more connection reliability and which will result in good user experience so in technical when it is making a connection from the virtual machine or from the session host back to your client it doesn't go directly in technical it will connect to something called stun server and from stun server it will have a connectivity so this is the back end architecture this is completely managed by microsoft this is the same stun server which microsoft is using for other services such as teams etc etc so to enable rdp short path for public network we need to create a registry entry under hklm system control, control set control terminal and win station so basically we are going to use this command through the command prompt so it will create a registry entry in the mentioned path so let's open a command prompt from the elevated administrator so let's run this command and let's go here and we'll refresh the page as you can see we have our entry so this entry will enable the rdp short path so now let's go back to our client machine and we'll try to connect to the virtual machine and we'll see the protocol and the round trip so you can use gpo or you can use intune policy also to push this registry entry and also you can use the same command on the master image and then you can create a session host that is also possible so let's go back to our client machine so i am going to launch the remote desktop client before we enable rdp short path so first let's launch the vda with the default tcp rdp reverse connect and we will see what is the round trip and the protocol it is showing so i'm going to launch the vda i'm going to enter the credential so the vda is connected now i'm going to see the connection details so here i'm going to the connection information as you can see it is tcp and the round trip is 2 milliseconds and the available bandwidth is 8.3 mbps 
now i have enabled rdp short path and i am going to launch the vda now i am going to enter the credential to launch the vda so now my vda is launched and uh, i am going to the connection information to check the status of the protocol and the round trip so as you can see it is saying that udp is enabled so let's go to the c details and here you can see the round trip is less than 1 milliseconds which is extremely good so the connection and the latency is very minimal and the user experience will be excellent so the transportation protocol you can see it is a udp protocol so this is how you enable rdp short path for public network and it will add a high value to the end user experience you can verify the status of rtp short path by going to the client and in the connection information you can see udp is enabled so similarly if you go to the azure portal and the monitoring under monitoring go to connection diagnostics and then go to the user details over here so if you click on the users select the user here the right side you will see all the events related to the connectivity so if you go below so you can see one event called rdp short path established so it means your user connection is now under udp and which is established over the public network directly through rdp short path also you can check the status of rdp short path from the log analytics so we need to go to log analytics and then go to logs so under logs run the query wvd check checkpoints where name contains short path so if you run the query it will give you the result of your rtp short path connect connection so if you check the result so where you can see rdp short path established so if you expand this so you will get you the it will give you the details so here you can see rdp short path established and the udp type is short path public so it means it is now connected over udp through short path on the public network so if it is a private then uh, uh, for example if it is over your vpn or express route then the, it will show you as short path private so this is how we can monitor the idp short path over public network from the azure portal as well as from the client side on the remote desktop application